Jesus, we thank you for the wonderful opportunity to sit at your feet together, manage the issues that we are going to discuss about the climate change in your wisdom today. Whatever we discuss, we can do it properly and we can make it faithful. You stay with each of our SMRs. Keep our family members well. Amen. Amen. And Monica will be hosting, moderating from now on. Thank you very much. Uh, it's really a very uh, good time right now. And we are really very excited to uh, celebrate to International Women's Day through this webinar. And today's our webinar is about uh, gender equity, climate, uh, changing climate, equality today's for uh, sustainable tomorrow. So it's time to think about tomorrow. So uh, uh, we have our uh, key speaker, Daisy Roy. We are very happy that Daisy, you were here. And uh, Daisy is uh, Executive Secretary of National Church Council of Bangladesh. And she is also a Vice uh, President of Asian Christian Women uh, Conference. And also she completed it, her Master's on Theology. Uh, she is also our former Women Coordinator of Bangladesh SCM Central Committee also rebuilding committee uh, member secretary. And finally, she is also our active senior friend. So today we are very happy Daisy, you are here. So uh, now I would like to request to conduct your session. Daisy, over to you. Thank you so much, Monica. Uh, this is really very pleasant for me to attending this webinar with Australian brother, sister, and also the Bangladesh brother, sister. Really, this is a, a great time for all of us. We are celebrating Women's Day in uh, in in this way, uh, though we are celebrating last month in, in the different way. But really, this is uh, I think this is a great initiative for all of us to doing something for our sisters. And I'm really happy to join as a senior friend of Bangladesh SCM and I hope it will be a great discussion within one or two hours and thank you so much our Australian brother and sister who are joined with us maybe it will be a very fruitful discussion with all of you uh, thank you so much um, I want to uh, uh, share some presentation um, and then we can uh, discussion more about this issue so I just request to Monica please uh, share my presentation Okay. I think the screen is clear. Is it? Okay. Uh, I just started my presentation, but my internet is not stable too much. So if you have any problem to getting hearing me or to seeing the presentation, just stop me. Okay. So this, uh, the uh, theme is, uh, we already know about the theme of last uh, uh, Women um, Day celebration we theme uh, with the gender equality today for a sustainable tomorrow. Though is a uh, is is listening very uh, easy and is is look like that we know about it. But uh, the thing is that that uh, when we are going to through that theme, it's not very much easy to uh, practicing in our country or con so. I just try to uh, share some of the thoughts what actually we think about it, then we can discussion more uh, how to actually practicing or how to overcoming this all at the situation. So um, when you get the um, theme of this year, uh, gender equality today for a sustainable tomorrow, what actually saying about the about this theme? Gender equality, Monica, can you just um, share my slides, the next one, next one, maybe, yeah. yeah. You can see some slide and I also have some other explanation, but that is not in the screen. I just share uh, by myself. Okay. <laughs> so here you can see uh, how to explain about the theme. Gender equality today for a sustainable tomorrow, recognizing the contribution of women and girls around the world who are leading the uh, charge on climate change, adoption, mitigation, and response to build a more sustainable future for all. The International Women's Day 
2022 theme of gender equals today for sustainable tomorrow uh, and of course the contribution of women and girls on climate change adoption mitigation and response at every level in every country to build a more sustainable future Women and girls have been powerful diverse of change and climate adoption and risk mitigation in their homes, community, and at the policy level. Their participation and leadership in sustainability initiatives have led to inclusive and effective climate action across the world, and of course, including in Bangladesh. The International Women's Day 2022 theme, Gender Equality Day for Sustainable Tomorrow, uh, actually means that climate change has served the lasting ef effects on the environment and socio-development. Vulnerable and marginalized population are often the most dependent on natural resources and experience the deepest impact of shift in temperature and weather patterns, rising population and increasing security of natural resources. Women and girls have been powerful divers of change uh, for climate adoption risk uh, mitigation in their homes, community, and policy level. I already shared this one. But while gender uh, stereotypes are being challenged in every sector, there are continue need more inclusive behavior. We must continue to starve uh, for diversity, equity, and inclusion in every action we take to end uh, conscious and unconscious bias that significantly impacts equality and opportunity for women. We must take action for equality and that is break the bias. And break the bias is one of the uh, very uh, uh, prominent topics in this year and break the bias. Uh, we already know about this theme or uh, we know the meaning of this thing, but, uh, but still is difficult when we are going to uh, practicing. Anyway, we will discuss later about these things. The theme of International Women's Day is uh, uh, aligned with the priority theme of the upcoming 66th Commission on the Status of Women, um, Achieving Gender Equality and Empowerment of All Women and Girls in the Context of Climate Change, Environmental and Disaster Risk uh, Reduction uh, Policies and Programs. International Women's Day, the theme, uh, reinforces the role of the each of us in uh, foreign a of a more equitable and gender balanced world that is free of bias, stereotype and discrimination. This is uh, crucial to uh, address the climate crisis and disaster uh, reduction for sustainable future. So uh, I, I just explained about how actually uh, these themes are explained, uh, that um, how it's uh, actually related to climate change and how women are response, how women are uh, mitigation uh, to take the action in their family, communities and everywhere. So I just now I just want to share why actually equality is important and um, 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 how to actually work for that. Uh, I just want to say it is simplest terms, development can be defined as bringing about social change that allows people to achieve uh, their human potential. In the context of gender, development is about attaining a full and satisfying life for all. Uh, attaining a full of satisfying life for all is a shared responsibility. So gender equality, of course, is very much important in our context, of course, in the society and family. Because when we are saying that this gender equality, it should be comes for our responsibility at the same time, we uh, should attaining our all development in every sectors. And of course, we should be satisfied in our life. So what actually gender definition? We already know about the gender definition, but uh, I just want to share that, that gender is a socially constructed uh, definition of women and men. It is not the same as sex, biological characteristics of men and women of, uh, is included. And it is not the same as women. Gender is determined by the uh, conception of task, function, and roles attribute to women and men in society and in public 
and of course in private life. So uh, we already know about gender definition that is actually social roles, uh, how to how we are actually act, how we we, ha we have the functioning, uh, how uh, we have to do our task in our society, our families, and of course in public places. So it's actually the role and uh, the society uh, define that our role sometimes that that's it's actually the gender uh, we, we can call that. And when is when we feel that it is discrimination? Uh, uh, when we feel that this is not that equal, equal, we are not feel the equality of their gender discrimination is a discrimination against a person or group on the grounds of sex or gender identity. So um, when you feel the discrimination, when you see our roles or function and act are not equal like man or not like uh, others, so that time we feel the discrimination is not only for the women, it can be for the man, it can be for the child, it can be for the um, um, the people who are disabled, maybe there is a lot of discrimination or the poor or the underprivileged sometimes is um, um, the people who are um, minority, uh, who are um, indigenous. So discrimination can be uh, goes for all people um, when they are not feeling that they are not treated by same way like other people. So why is, um, why is happening? Like always we are saying about the gender discrimination or gender role, because um, still we are practicing the patriarchy. So we all know about the patriarchy. So uh, what is patriarchy exactly? Patriarchy is a social system in which man hold primary power and predominant in roles of political leadership, moral authority, social privilege and control property. The family name comes from the man and the family is uh, governed by man. So maybe some of me, or many men are here, many brothers have said, please don't so send me any stone or anything. Just it, it, it is the reality that when we are practicing the patriarchy, we are ruled over by the man. Of course, sometimes uh, women also can be a uh, uh, practice a patriarchy if if she believes this system, if she believes this thought or uh, uh, this um, this method, maybe women can be a man can be a man. Women can be placed like a man. Yes, of course we have some women in our society. We can see them when we uh, uh, when we see their act. We sometimes say though she is women, but she act like a man because she believes patriarchy, she practicing patriarchy and she, uh, she knows that all is about the patriarchy. So sometimes or uh, somewhere, sometimes women also uh, acting like a, like a man or uh, they are following the patriarchy system. So, um, yeah, this is a, this is actually I explained about the patriarchy and sometimes, um, for example, patriarchy, um, uh, um, society is every uh, where man hold the control uh, and makes all the rules and women stay home and care for the kids. So uh, uh, when the patriarchy system we are practicing, we th that gender role also uh, defined by the patriarchy system. That's why, especially in, in the South, South Asian context, women are always staying at the home, they are caring baby, they are um, and um, uh, give the uh, uh, treatment for uh, elders and for others people. They are always um, feeding the uh, children and doing all of the household work. So everything are doing, uh, everything are actually uh, comes from the patriarchy system or patriarchy mentality. So I just share the challenge. I'm just going very fast because Monica, uh, told me that my time is only 15 minutes. So I have many slides. Uh, I'm going very fast. Okay, maybe we can share later for all, all these things. Okay, I find some challenges of Bangladeshi women. Um, here you can see some points. I, maybe it's not, uh, it's not enough or it, it, it is not uh, maybe all I just uh, taken, but um, um, whatever I think the challenges uh, mostly we are uh, uh, facing, I just mentioning here. The rate of child marriage remains the highest in South Asia at 59% uh, of girls getting married before the age of 18. And this is also one of the uh, big challenge for us to 
um, to uh, to prevent uh, prevent that child marriage and uh, for girls we are not uh, giving them proper education and all the facilities everything so um, after that they are going going um, uh, through that uh, that patriarchy system that means very easily they are uh, ruled over by the patriarchy system so they are not getting the education and all of the things um, and then second is though gender priority has been achieving in primary and secondary education, enrollment drop out rate are higher for girls uh, than boys. Yes, of course, especially in the pandemic situation, last two years in Bangladesh, uh, mostly girls are um, got marriage that, that that is actually child marriage. And of course, uh, the parents are not providing the education fees and everything. So um, mostly the girls are drop out from their schools. 82% uh, married women suffer gender-based violence and uh, perceived sexual violence prevents women from achieving their full potential. A number of laws exist of, to prevent violence against women, but the enforcement of those laws remains a major challenge. This is so funny and it is really ridiculous. Women and girls are also victims of the domestic violence, which has been significantly increasing during this COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, this is also one of the, um, uh, how to say that, uh, for girls, for women, uh, this last two years, it just fully increasing and I, I, I mentioned the numbering it's 82 percent uh, women especially the married women they suffer gender-based violence um, and um, children also suffer children also especially the girl children also suffer because of the uh, pandemic situation three million Bangladeshi women are employed in lucrative ready main garment sector increasing number of women are involved in small and medium uh, enterprise um, there are uh, remain large financial gap uh, that women faces of course when uh, we facing the pandemic situation many garments are uh, just totally closed and uh, many um, uh, office that where women are working very um, uh, low, uh, how to say that, it's not low actually, uh, it's like a day basis, they are uh, earning the money. And when it was stopped, that means they're facing a really, very financial crisis and um, mostly women are suffering in their families and uh, to maintaining, uh, to caring, and of, of course, the, uh, for the tuition fees and everything they're facing. So it was another reason to increasing the uh, gender based violence during the pandemic situation. So I want to say what actually gender equality. Uh, though we are in this time, we are saying uh, not equality is equity. I have some slide in, in letter. You can see how now explain about is not equality is equity. Uh, so, but I just uh, using the term because uh, if people are using this one, that gender equality. So I use this term. So what actually is gender equality? We want to see that gender equality is rights applies to the right to individually buy their own land, manage property, equality in voice, conduct business, travel, be free from physical harms and violence, be free from security risks. So that is actually our applies that uh, our, um, we are trying to get these rights. We are always talking about these issues to, to get um, by our own. Uh, when we, we will achieve maybe 90 or 100% uh, are achieving, but that time we can say there is, there is not necessarily any equality. We already equal. Uh, maybe we can, we will say these are the things. Yes, and uh, the next slide I, I mentioning that uh, how actually working now our government and all of the countries, now the sustainable development goals, you people are know about it and you can see the uh, number five, there is mentioning about the sustainable development goal that is gender equality. Maybe the screen is not too much clear, the word you cannot see the word very clearly you can find it in the website or everywhere you can, can see and five is you can see the uh, symbol uh, so you can uh, easily find that is uh, actually gender equality so uh, number five uh, that means is uh, actually uh, um, response about the gender equality and all governments are uh, really focusing about the gender equality in their own country because uh, without gender equality, without gender 
balance without uh, actually women uh, rights there is no development development cannot be achieved fully when women are suffering when women are discriminated when women are uh, 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 violence in 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 the different different forms so um, uh, so government are more focusing now the sustainable development group, especially the number five points so what actually say about the sustainable development goal or sdz sdz also known the global goals were adopted by all united nation members state in 2015 as a universal call to action to end poverty protect the planet and ensure that all people enjoy peace and prosperity by 2030 is really really tough already is 2022 <laughs> and it's just only like uh, uh, eight years or something like that. I don't know how it possible, especially in is like uh, our country to to remove all the poverty and protect planet and ensure all the people peace and prosperity. But still, we are working. Still, we are uh, facing the challenges. We are taking all many initiative and um, of course government has a lot of rules and we are trying to follow that rules and regulation but still is too much challenging for us because Bangladesh is not still uh, that uh, developing country like like <laughs> maybe Australia or some others <laughs> so this is really very much challenging for all of us yeah here you can see some uh, points that what actually we uh, need to do for achieving uh, gender equality and empower for all women and girls. And also, of course, it is related to the climate change. Uh, when I explained in the before, uh, how women are response about climate change, environmental and uh, disaster risk uh, uh, management and everything. So these are the actual step, or we can say the initiative, or we can say rules or Anyways, <laughs> so we, we need to follow these other things and we need to take this, the, these are the initiative to, to achieving actually the gender equality. Maybe just we can just uh, see or just uh, I, firstly, I just said first is end all form of discrimination against all women and girls, eliminated all forms of violence against all women and girls, eliminated uh, harmful practices, including FGM and child marriage. That is, of course, Bangladesh is one of the uh, big um, um, victim, I can say, uh, Bangladesh um, is a number one places now, uh, even though Pakistan um, uh, is the second and, uh, and then India is the third. So <laughs> we are in the top uh, uh, level uh, for the child marriage. Uh, recognizing and value unpaid care that I already mentioned that when uh, the pandemic time, um, uh, uh, women are working and uh, they're not valuing and the, for the caring, they're not paid actually. So this is also, we need to work for that also. Ensuring women uh, full effective participation all level of uh, decision making. That is, this is also another uh, very uh, big and um, problematic area because still our uh, families, still our society and even in the church, we are not have much um, um, place for us to raise our voice or to to have the uh, places for uh, share our decision or or to uh, take the uh, um, um, good um, actually the places uh, to working for the church people a church always mentioning about the um, uh, women are uh, not to come for the decision making process they are they cannot be uh, uh, um, uh, pastor or reverend uh, balance is still not allowing um, not give any um, uh, how to say that means the ordination for women still uh, is not practicing in our country um, some of the churches like uh, anglican churches they are practicing but it's also very few just two or three women last uh, uh, three or four years before they they was ordinated and after that there is no women ordi uh, women ordination and there there are no women pastor or reverend in in bangladesh not yet so this is also one of the biggest challenge for us uh, women are uh, very much active in church they are always doing some uh, 
uh, good role. They are always um, have lot of initiative for church, but is is only for the prayer, is only for the song, is only for the preparing the service and um, uh, serve the churches, cleaning the churches, everything. Women are always in the front, but the decision making process is really still tough. So it's not only the church; uh, it's, it's all everywhere in our country. Ensure uh, universal access uh, to sex and reproductive health and reproductive rights. That is also another big challenge for especially the rural areas in our countries. Uh, still, uh, girls are not aware their reproductive health and um, they're not concerning about still the uh, menstruation when they're coming. They don't know how to handle these are the things and still they don't know how to maintain the hygiene and everything. So uh, this is also another Mm, a big challenge for us. Uh, mm, and undertaking uh, reform to give women equal rights to uh, economic resources and his the uh, use the uh, uh, enabling technical technology to promote the empowerment of women and adapt uh, strengthening policies and uh, enforceable uh, legislation of the for the promotion of gender equality. I just want to go very fast because Monica is already warning me. There is no uh, yes. I'm I'm going to finish. Maybe it's just please uh, show the next slide. Um, Monica, yes, there is equality and equity. You can see, you already know about this picture. Maybe you can see uh, the right one. You can see uh, the equality. Everyone is equal. You see the book uh, in the, uh, in the uh, under that uh, uh, girls and uh, boys, there is an equal books. That means the support is equal, but they are not actually the, uh, uh, they are not touch the margin. They see the margin. That is the standard margin. They are not not reach. All are not reach the margin. That is equality. They getting all the supports and everything equally, but everyone not the touch the same uh, label and see the equity. There is not equal. Actually, all uh, support is not equal, but they are touching the standard level of their life or or anything. That means some people they need more support. Some people, they need more uh, access. Some people, they need more actually uh, help or uh, to, uh, to uh, how, when, how to reach the level. They need more actually the spaces. So that is actually equality. Uh, this is really very difficult to practicing, but, but still uh, we are working for that like some indigenous people, they need little, uh, some, uh, we, in Bangladesh, we have some quota system. We are following that quota system. That means the special privilege. They have some special privilege. That is the equity. That means we, when you give them the special privilege, they can touch the standard level. Uh, but some Bengali, for some Bengali people, they, we don't have that much uh, the privilege like quota system or anything. So that is equal, equal, uh, equity. Okay, the sl last uh, slide, I just mentioned some uh, action, uh, how we can work for uh, uh, against gender-based violence or not only gender-based violence, I just uh, mentioning uh, gender-based violence, but where, how to bring the peace or how to work for the people in our society. That is listen, first listen, be open to learning from others who have more expertise and experience before you speak. Believe, I don't want to share to uh, all. Uh, believe be a survivor and those who have been affected uh, by gender-based violence, speak out. Of course, we should speak for behalf of them. Uh, intervene, if you see someone being uh, threatening and assimilated, find a safe, safe way or uh, to help. And of course, acting, act like what we actually do today, like that, that giving your time, to an organization or group that works to prevent and addressing gender-based violence, be the change you want to see and take the leadership role within your community. That now, today we are doing something like as an organization or like a, a group, we can do some work for others and to stop the, uh, the, the gender-based violence or uh, to work for the underprivileged people. 
to bringing the peace, justice for others. So um, that is actually I want to share uh, from my side um, uh, how uh, this year uh, Women um, Day we are celebrating gender equality and empowerment. I mentioning that empowerment, uh, how we can uh, do for our sisters, uh, the girls, and um, of course um, the pe people who are in underprivileged situation. So yeah, that's all from my side. Maybe I take much time. Uh, oh, thank you so much to uh, he hearing me and for your patience. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Daisy, for your brilliant sharing. It's really very important and informative. I think uh, time doesn't matter if we have some information that is really very helpful for us. So now floor is open for all of our friends and senior friend and friend. For if you have any reflection and comment or asking or question, so we have uh, eight minutes in our hand. So you can raise your uh, 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 comments or feedback, or you can uh, 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 write it down in the chat box. So time is for all of you. Lucy, did you have a, a comment, reflection? Uh, hi everyone. Yes, my name's Lucy. I'm in Queensland and uh, working with David on a on a project at the moment. Um, I think that um, it's very interesting. Like these goals are uh, adopted by you know all the UN nations. Like so, it's like there is a sense of um, worlds taking notice of these things, whether they enact it or not properly is another proposition, I suppose. But um, since this is, um, um, there are people here from Australian, oh, sorry, from the student Christian movement, I think the other hand is um, regarding, yes, it was mentioned about the uh, very slow rate of uptake of these goals often by the Christian church, various denominations in the Christian church, some are better than others. Than others. Um, um, so I think patriarchy is alive both inside and outside the church, unfortunately. Um, but I think um, that there is a big message that we have and activism that we can do as mm. followers of Jesus, following, um, you know, what he did to empower women. And in fact, um, interpretation right from the creation mm. um, through to today and beyond, that we can have blessings to give in this area. And sometimes the work is very, very hard. So I mm. um, really appreciate um, being invited to be with you this evening because I do pray also about things as well as mm. activate. So I think um, we've got a long way to go, but we should never give up because mm. it is written into the very fabric of creation that everything needs to flourish. And we are the answers to our ancestors' prayers and even for people today that we can be the answers to those prayers in this activism for gender equality for women. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, if, uh, if anyone have to share, yes, Mr. Edward Ashok, please. Tada, you are muted. Yes. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, Daisy. <laughs> it's okay now? Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Yeah. Uh, thank you, David and others. Uh, <laughs> my Australian and my Bangladesh. Yes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, Daisy was presenting very nicely, uh, but something we should proud, like uh, our Prime Minister um, mm -hmm. is Hasina, mm -hmm. who is lady. <laughs> so you should proud that one. Of course, but of course. It's been we are prioritize mm. women as well, right? Yes. Yes. So, uh, and the other thing you told the priest, priest, mm. right? Lady mm. priest. 
Mm. So we can we can do like ourselves. We can every church has some special uh, criteria or mm. whatever. Mm -hmm. So they are doing, but whoever doing, someone mm -hmm. following, someone not. Mm -hmm. We we can't push them. You have mm -hmm. to. Do. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, um, as a woman um, in Australia, as a woman in Bangladesh, as a woman in other countries, all women are suffering same way. Mm. But that's true. All women, our sister, all women, our mother, all women, our um mm. kids mm. So we did ourselves mm. but as society as a society i don't know um maybe somewhere is some lacking but i don't know how to protect this lacking or leak mm. stop it mm. uh, as a scm we are not a big huge uh, huge, uh, I mean the uh, huge uh, community, but huge protector. But as a smaller, we can do something. What we are doing now, we are still going on. Mm. Thank you very Thank much, Dada. Thank you, Dada. But I want to say one thing that uh, in Bible, there is no um, actually restriction for women cannot be a priest or reverend. You see, if, even in India, we can see a lot of women priests, reverend. But uh, the problem is in our culture. The problem is in our practice. We cannot see a woman with a white dress in the pulpit. That is the main problem in, no, no, in Bangladesh it, context. It, it, so, it, is not <laughs> only, it is not only in uh, Bangladesh, but I can see in Australia, I think David mm, can mm, and uh, mm, Lucy can say mm, mm, uh, mm, we don't have much priest here. Mm, right? mm. Yeah, but I just say, of course, let it uh, priest. Let it be, priest. I mean. Yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, countries are going to try to overcome this this situation. Of course, uh, Lucy mentioning about the patriarchy is in the, uh, the our church also practicing the patriarchy. This this is really unfortunate for us. But mm. uh, some countries try to overcome, though very few or like one or two. But in Bangladesh context, there is no one. Just the zero. Some. We have some. So <laughs> that yeah. is that is very that is very uh, how to say it is really very pathetic for us, very painful for us. Like I am also studying about theology. I finished my master's in theology, but I never trying to ask any church to give me ordination. I want to be a priest. I don't want because this is I I feel like this is my uh, 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 like honor. This is my dignity. When church should call me, you come. If you feel that the God is calling you, you should be uh, ordinate. We are give you ordination. But no, any uh, one of the church are calling me <laughs> to come and take the ordination. So you see, many women are studying theology. They finish the theology, but uh, they can be a deacon. Only deacon. Only deacon. <laughs> but they cannot be a deacon. No, no, no. Deacon is a preliminary. No, no. It is a preliminary stage of priest. Whatever, <laughs> David, David, what do you think? Anyways, Dada, oh. thank you for raising this question. <laughs> David. Monica will yell at me if I if I keep uh, yes. talking. So we have to move to the, to the next uh, part. I'm sorry, but um, good yes. question. I, I will I will answer that. Uh, the next part is we're going to hear from uh, four speakers. Um, the first one is Rachel from the Australian Student Christian Movement. Good evening, members of the Australian and Bangladesh Student Christian Movement. My name is Rachel Anthony and I'm a liaison officer for the Australian Student Christian Movement, as well as a student at the University of Queensland. Tonight I will be talking about the relationship between gender equality and climate change, as well as some ways we can support the women and girls impacted by the latter. While caring for the environment and the rights of women are both widely acknowledged as important social justice issues, the intersection between these two significant causes is less commonly discussed. Climate change is a planet-wide issue that impacts every global citizen, 
but many of its devastating effects disproportionately harm women and girls. For example, it is widely acknowledged that some of the sectors <laughs> most heavily... <laughs> oh, pardon, what did you say? Did you say? No, all good. It was just the microphone from someone else. All good. Uh, for example, it is widely acknowledged that some of the sectors most heavily impacted by natural disasters are agriculture, livestock and fishing. However, it is not as commonly mentioned that these three sectors have predominantly female workforces. Similarly, conversations about gender equality often discuss the fact that women are on average more likely than men to be the caretakers of children and other members of the family. Obviously, the situation can be harmful at the best of times if women are forced into this role and or given minimal support for their caretaking, but these problems are only compounded in times of environmental danger as it can be difficult for women and those in their care to evacuate. This is further intensified by rigid gender roles that prevent or discourage women and girls from learning skills like swimming that could save their lives during natural disasters caused by climate change. It is important that initiatives put in place to prevent climate change and to help communities recover from natural disasters factor gender equality into their efforts. To financially recover from environmental disasters, it is not uncommon for men to need to move far away from their homes to secure work. This relocation can be difficult for the men and it additionally places more strain on the women by placing all of the household responsibilities on their shoulders. Furthermore, the women who stay in locations damaged by climate change and natural disasters are more likely to experience poverty as a result of the impact on their work industries, as well as poorer health. Uniform programs that do not recognize the specific impact of climate change on women are not as effective in helping them recover from the environmental damage. So it is important that aid efforts incorporate gender, equ gender equality initiatives into their programs. One significant way to make progress towards improving initiatives for supporting women impacted by climate change is to involve more women in developing and carrying out these projects. On the 8th of March, International Women's Day, the United Nations Women Australia hosted events that not only raised funds to support the rights of women, women and girls around the world, but promoted change and celebrated the achievements of women. The theme for this year's events was Changing Climates Equality Today for a Sustainable Tomorrow, which focused on women's contributions to fighting climate change and supporting its victims, as well as improving gender equality. Several female activists and advocates presented on their work in caring for the environment and supporting the rights of women and girls. International Women's Day has already come and gone this year, but there are still other ways we can contribute to stopping and supporting the victims of gender inequality and climate change. We can donate to UN Women's ongoing efforts in supporting women and their efforts to help the planet Donations aid projects such as helping women to replant their crops that have been damaged by natural disasters. The charity Water Aid Australia similarly accepts donations to support girls and women impacted by climate change and runs fundraising events we can participate in to raise awareness for the cause. Taking place in October, Walk for Water is one such event in which participants walk for extended periods of time in solidarity with the women and girls who have who have to walk long distances to gather clean water for their families. In conclusion, climate change can lead to greater gender inequality through its unique negative impact on girls and women. As a result, it is important to be aware of this issue and to pursue initiatives that support women and girls affected by climate change. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, if anyone has any questions for Rachel, we're just going to wait till we hear from the other three speakers. So don't forget your question, put it in the chat box or, or write it down, but there will be a chance to ask questions, make comments. Could we please hear from Paula from uh, Bangladesh? You're on. Okay. Hello, everyone. This is uh, Paula Vijita, the chairperson of Bangladesh STM Kula Um Actually, uh, I am on the way to go somewhere and uh, I'm outside of my house. So please excuse me for that. I'm going to stop sharing the video camera. Uh, so today's in our uh, theme is equality today for a sustainable future. Uh, so uh, I'm going to share my views 
about inequality criteria. Uh, so how does it uh, possible to be sustainable in equality? I think, uh, I don't know how many of you uh, will agree with me or not, uh, that gender equality or gender balance is uh, not just about uh, women's uh, rights, it's about, I think, human rights that we are really uh, should uh, looking up to. And uh, I think uh, this is the only way to flag out the ultimate equality. And it's about to grow uh, in equal in every portion that we should. Um, and without gender equality, a sustainable future uh, and uh, equal future will remain beyond our reach. And uh, I think in this uh, 21st uh, century, the greatest uh, global challenge are to achieve the gender equality in the context of climate change. And we also know the context in uh, 2020, uh, 22, that uh, the context was uh, to about the gender equality in the context of climate change. Uh, and still now, we utterly recognize that um, men and uh, women are experiencing the climate change differently. So how does it uh, came as a differently? Uh, still, there is a crisis to adopt uh, the equality in both gender. Uh, how does it came for? Because of the dependency, also sometimes in the independency that um, we are carrying up to uh, in, in somewhere the land rights. Uh, sometimes it's about to, in the income that we are, uh, looking up to and uh, along with that uh, the lack of utilizing the um, what should i say women's capabilities in everywhere and uh, the, the recognizing of uh, women's equality and uh, women's opportunity to give is such a, a alarming i think so challenging for us uh, so if we are really looking for a sustainable future, we have to ensure the uh, responsibilities uh, for both gender in both uh, urban and rural areas. So it's about to reach oppor opportunities that um, I am talking about. So sometimes in rural areas in our country, it sounds uh, not so possible um, to go for formal education. So here, the NGOs that we have, uh, also the non-profitable organization, um, they can uh, play the vital role to give the primary education uh, to go ahead. And uh, we are really aware of, if we are really aware about to, to make the girls and the women out there to be stable by financially and to be able to flag out uh, their own identity. Uh, so that will be our first uh, step out uh, to reach our uh, ultimate designation, I feel so. Uh, by the terms, no, no, okay. By the terms, uh, gender equality coupled uh, with um, climate, also with the environment, uh, environment crisis also, we can uh, utterly say that. And uh, on this term, the gender discrimination that uh, we have uh, placed as a vice first uh, for this uh, sustainable future. Mm, the women out there are also, I think, capable, I think, I hardly think, 
uh, that capable enough to lead the front line and make their own place. But the only thing that uh, hold as a barrier is to give them the space to explore. So uh, I was uh, hearing that uh, one of our senior friend, Orshak Dada, was uh, talking about to address the thing that uh, uh, omens are suffering in everywhere. To explore, to explore, to grab their opportunities, to explore, to stand out with their um, identity, to make their own space, to make their own sustain, to make their own sustainability, to make their um, own uh, identity in everywhere, in family, in workplace, in everywhere. But uh, uh, to accordingly in, in our era, um, if we are, uh, if we give a look in our today's view, women have come across uh, for so far. Uh, so just uh, hoping that uh, um, we can surely make the chance to buy our uh, um, attempt, by our decision, by our uh, awareness. Uh, so uh, this is for today. So <clears throat> if we are really looking for a sustainable future, we have to ensure the equal opportunities uh, for both of the gender that I feel so. So this is for today. I have a very short time. So thank you so much for bearing with me and making the effort to hear me. Thank you. Thank you, Paula. I just want to make a few quick comments on the sort of the theology, the Christian theology, when it comes to gender equality and equity. And as Lucy mentioned this before, the church has not always been on the right side of, of that. And, you know, we often hear, well, look, Eve, you know, it's Eve's fault that, uh, you know, Adam ate the apple and that there's sin in the world. And so we'll blame the woman. And interestingly, there's been a response to that, which is, well, if it wasn't for Eve and if it wasn't for sin, there'd be no Jesus. So you have Eve to thank for Jesus. Thank you very much. Um, and we often hear that, well, you know, it was Eve's idea to eat the apple but actually it was the snake's uh, idea to do it so we have to blame the snake not women um, i often hear people say oh the catholics worship mary above jesus and catholics say no that's not true but we do have a we do respect her and we do pray to her um, and ask her to, to to talk to jesus for us because she was jesus's mother so she's a really important uh, woman um, and, and she should be prayed to and the Anglicans do it as well it's not just a Catholic thing there are Anglican churches that have statues of Mary so I think it's important that we give a lot of attention to uh, women uh, in the Bible um, it, in terms of priests female priests and we were talking before with Edward about this if it wasn't for female priests we would have an even bigger shortage of priests than we have now in uh, places like Brisbane. Um, and women were only allowed to become priests in Brisbane in the Anglican Church in the early 1990s, uh, which is you know, far too long. But you know, we often hear that gender equality is good for the economy because you, you, know, you don't benefit by having half the population not able to contribute. And that's the same for Christianity. If you care about Christianity, there is no benefit to the church, to Christianity, if half of the people who are Christian are not allowed to fully participate in spreading that message, in preaching that message, in getting into leadership roles. So it benefits Christianity by having a gender equality. Can we please hear from Philomena now from Bangladesh? Hi. Everyone, I'm Philomena from Bangladesh SCM. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. I'm sorry uh, because uh, some network problem, so I can't on my video. That's okay. All good. Uh, thanks to David, give me this opportunity. Uh, now I'm share on equality today for a uh, sustainable tomorrow. Uh, 
International Women's Day present us with a opportunity to celebrate the political, social, economic, and cultural achievement of women and girls around the world. The theme for this year is gender equality today for a sustainable tomorrow. The climate crisis and gender inequality are two core issues at the heart of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. The global efforts to advance gender equality and tackle climate change at the same time is one of the greatest challenges to humanity in the uh, first century. Figures indicate 80% of people displaced by climate change and climate related uh, disasters are women and girls. While 70% of the 1.3 billion people living in a uh, condition of property are women. It is critical that sustainability and gender equality effort globally on hand in hand. Uh, here we find few photos about bad effect of climate change for women. It has been estimated that by 2050, one in every seven people in Bangladesh will be displayed by climate change. Bangladesh may lose appro approximately 11th of its land by then, and up to 80 million people may have to migrate because of sea level rise alone. How women in Bangladesh are being harmed as a result of climate change. Impacts of climate change also increase Bangladeshi women's social and economic vulnerabilities by directly impacting their food security, water consumption, and livelihood. Moreover, they are unduly effect in compressing comparison to mean in due to establish society and uh, norms and are con consequently undermined in Bangladesh due to its traditional gender prospection perspectives. As a result of climate change, women continue to suffer from critical health problems. The role of Bangladesh SCM in preventing climate change and violence against women in Bangladesh. Workshops and seminars are being organized regularly on climate change and justice. Implementing advocacy and activities on eco-justice, implementing various workshops to prevent violence against women at the local and national level. Regularly implementing various programs and workshops are conducting Bible studies on Christian theology and gender equality. Regular discussion meetings are being organized to make the young students aware and responsible to eliminate violence against women and ensure gender equality within the family, church and also university levels. International Women's Day and Environment Day are celebrated to make students more aware of this. Here we find few photos about uh, photos, pictures of some programs recently. Okay, thank you all. Thank you, Javid. Thank you very much, uh, Philomena. Now we have some time for questions, comments, and we'll just kind of um, there we remove the uh, the slides, and we're all good. But does anyone have any questions? You can type them in the chat box, or or just say them, or uh, 
Put your hand up. It could be a, a short uh, comment, reflection, whatever you'd like. Oh, Lucy has raised her hand, Lucy. You're on mute, sorry. Yeah, I was just lowering my E hand. <laughs> I think I'll drop a little bit of a bombshell here, if that's all right. Uh -oh. <laughs> In the nicest way, because I'm into non-violence, so that might be a very good analogy. But um, I do respect everybody's contributions this evening. It's been a really rich... Uh, presentations and discussion but I will say something um, that after many years of um, traveling along the road about gender equality etc and particularly empowering women because I'm actually a grandma now and um, so I'm always a student in formal and formal learning things um, but just from my perspective um, I found it very interesting to think of patriarchy as the basis for all societal ills. Now that might sound a bit radical and I do respect um, we have some um, men represented here and I'm not blaming them personally <laughs> because if by their participation in this kind of forum they're actually demonstrating that they believe in um, equality and equity for women so thank you for being with us. But um, if we're saying it's about all human rights, yes, that is true. But the spotlight is on the people who are suffering, who are marginalised or disenfranchised at the moment. And it's, it's the ability and the activism to get those people, and we have seen the statistics in these presentations of very high percentages of women that are particularly disadvantaged in a bigger way because of climate change and many other factors than men. So we need to be lifting the marginalized, the disenfranchised and otherwise demised to the same level so that we're talking about equality is there, but the equity is the issue. So it's lots like saying black lives matter and then someone goes, oh yes, but all lives matter. And of course we know that all lives matter, but it is because all lives matter that this inequity needs to be addressed, if I'm making any sense. So in actual fact, if we break the bias and dismantle patriarchy, both men and women will be liberated. And that flows on to the rest of um, society people of you know the other genders that many societies are dealing with human beings who have other identi gender identity in a sense than male or female even but the whole creation is actually writhing because of the systems of inequity that are perpetuated by patriarchy so yes all lives matter. And yes, it's about um, both genders, male and female, um, becoming, um, what would you call it, freed from the shackles of patriarchy. We will all benefit from that. So thank you very much for letting me drop my bombshell. That's okay. Thank you, Lucy. Does anyone have any uh, comments or reflections? No, it's, um, Edward? Yes, go yes, ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Lucy, really thank you. Uh, your final transaction was, uh, calculation was just woman and man. We need to forward. Right? 
all men and women need to what? Women and men need to be forward to do the result, right? So there is no quality here, like women and men, we need to forward, we need to raise our voice, we need to do something. Uh, Deji was telling, no one calling me for priest. No, you need to come forward yourself. You need to come forward yourself and, okay, I want to be a priest. I want to be a something, I want to do something. So that's the way I think it will be work. If we do not raise our voice, we can't do anything. Is it correct? David? Yes, true. <laughs> uh oh. Um, Lucy, I'll let you uh, answer. Oops, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> May I just uh, want to share something? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, uh, other three presenters, uh, Rachel, Paula, and Nupur. They're also mentioning about the women equality and how women are suffering because of the climate changes. Of course, of course. Um, I agree with Lucy. We need to forward, uh, we need to step together with men and women. Um, um, of course, we need to raise our voice. Everything is, uh, we are still, uh, and also Edward also mentioning, we need to go, we need to ask, we need to uh, raise our voices. Of course, we need to do that, all of the things. But uh, sometimes what is, what is actually facing uh, in our life or in our family or society that uh, patriarchy always makes some hindrance for us. Of course, we are we are trying to overcome the situation, but uh, we need to more fighting. We need to more, you know, to um, how to say we we need to you know give more um, uh, strength. We need to give more passion. Or sometimes we are, of course, we are human being. When we are always fighting, at the time we are getting tired. Oh, I don't want. I really, really don't want. Sometimes I, I feel that when I am, I'm trying too much, I give too much effort for my work, but I'm not getting much, you know, the honor or dignity in my workplace or also the family or any other places. I also feel tired. How many times I need to fight? How many times I need to fight? Because Bibles give me the equality. Our Bibles give me the equal opportunity. God created us in his own image. At the same image, manner, women are uh, uh, created. Then how and why I am treated by like this, like that way? So that is also the the final question I always raising. Why? Why into more fighting to getting my places? Why uh, men are easily getting the places? Why I raising uh, about the female priest? Because we are talking about the decision making process. We want to uh, go through the decision making process. If I am not the top, I am not going uh, going with the decision making process. I am not take any decision. When I am only the deacon, when I am only the lay people in the churches, I am not getting any decision. When they are our priest and reverend are getting the decision, I only follow them. I want to obey them. But sometimes I also want to take the decision. This is not good for the church. This is not uh, a right way church are doing now. So, of course, we are, we are uh, getting um, sometimes tired to, to talking about our rights or equality to speaking. But I'm not saying in that negative way. Of course, we need to raise our voice. Of course, we need to go through uh, with the challenges. Of course, we need to take the initiative. Um, we also have that 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 kind of spirit, but um, sometimes we are getting tired. Also, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for sharing. Oh, look, I'm very mindful of the time, so we'll have to sort of um, end the discussion um, here. I would just like to do a, a closing prayer, if I may. Um, dear God, we give thanks for the opportunity to come together like this. We pray for the people of Bangladesh, especially women and girls, that they may be safe and have equality. We pray also for women in Australia, that they may have safety and equality. We pray for all women and men working for equality in this world, that they may 
have rest from it. They may get rest from it, that they may get the equality and the equity that they uh, work so hard for. We pray for a more peaceful world. And we also take this time to pray for people, especially women in our own lives that uh, may be going through things that uh, the rest of us don't know about. We pray that uh, their prayers may be answered. Amen. Thank you all so much for joining. I really do appreciate it. Um, thank you so much. Um, for those of you watching at home who, who will watch this webinar, if you have any questions, please send it to us. Send it to you know, <laughs> SCM Bangladesh or Australian Student Christian Movement um, uh, Facebook email. So don't feel left out. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you, David and all uh, who are here and listening yeah. us. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, David. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>